thing Andre did was a transition. It started slow. He didn't he didn't jump into motherfucking shoulder pads and motherfucking a a, a, a wig and all that shit. That he was a started, third album. Yeah, that was the equipment album. That was the bottom of a bag that. Yo, but no, it wasn't like that. It was a slow transition. He was, yo, Nobody he was the mad turban. at the turban. He had the turban yeah. with the me and you record. The, the turban me. was never the issue. Yo, that's my point. But it was the beginning of the transition of the look. Mm. Right. Everybody yeah. saw that. He Everybody that saw that. What? And then when it got to the point where he did the record with Raekwon with the, the blonde wig and the shoulder pads, niggas was already ready because they knew that nigga was different. What? This is my so thing. No, 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 no. This, is, this is my he thing. This is my thing. None of that shit worked without both of them. I agree. That's the thing they about it. D- 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 as, as Dre is uh-huh. making his... How they need each other d- with, d- I'm with telling Tim. you. I'm trying to explain to hey you y'all. how. Hey, y'all. Big Boy went on that record. And Tim was already developed that like, Yeah, uh-huh. that's it. The Rock. That's hey, an after the fact. After that. no, Ray already no, had no, a no, win no, after that. You know what? Huh? I, I, I agree with them on that. Ray already had a win after yeah. that. Yeah. The, uh, the big Boy kept him... They needed each other for Dre to get to, to, to where he was. Yeah, and then, and and then and Andre, him. hold up. And then when the world figures out Andre is one of the greatest lyricists of all time, all that, came, all that came all that came from the I black people's eyes. side. I'm sorry. But no. Yeah, all that me? came from the black people's side. What? But but to get to the white people's side, big boy had to keep you grounded enough but, but for Dre to try his shit. I agree. I agree with you to this point that it it had to work with them together because they started together. Now, if Andre had started by itself, he would still have been able to be what he is now. I don't know. I, no, I, I told you. Speaking to Mike You got to get out I, the hood. I told him, though, yeah. Because he was the same nigga on P- Southern Player Listic that he was on Hey Ya. You know, it was a transition. It was, yo, he is an artist. No, he no. is an artist. He was the same person. No, no. but no, what you missing is uh-huh. he is an artist. And I'm an, I'm telling you, as an artist, <coughs> it's an evolution that transpires. I got bro. you. Yeah. So yeah, you, you know I'm an artist too. Nobody, nobody <laughs> can predict. Speaking of Mike Star, and as an artist, you can't tell. Nobody can tell. Speaking you. of Mike Star, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> as an artist, nobody can tell you how your evolution is going to happen. That was no no right. Yeah, yeah, but this is my point. I think Dre would have been the same nigga he is now. And had the same, if he was signed as a solo artist with the Southern Playalistic shit, as he is now. No, sir. No, I, I totally No, sir. I'm going to tell you He wouldn't have made it. I don't think he would have made it. If it wasn't for No. Right, this, hold on. Like it. Y'all missing the point. It's a slow evolution. He didn't transform from Southern Playalistic to Hey Y'all overnight. Right. I'm going to tell you how you know deep I go. If he had continued the same slow process that he did, Yes, he would have been right where he's at. This is. He was caught the fire by himself. Yeah, he okay. did catch the fire by himself. No, he did. Yes, he did. No, he did. Three stacks. Oh, Three stacks did catch the hey, fire bro. by himself. Hey, bro. Yes, he did. Even, even motherfucking Dre said, yo, Dre is all, uh, uh, not Dre. What is his name? Uh, Big Boy. Nick? Big Boy. Said, yo, Dre always been different. I cool. Hold on, cause, like, cause that, this yo, is the, this so one yo, thing. You can't say that nigga's not gonna be what he is. Hold on, let's let's do this real you quick though. All right. Let's Come do on, this real quick. Welcome to the after the show. Welcome to the after show. They yeah. were better together. Yes. And when Dre got to a point where he was, you know, falling over top of everybody, that's when hey y'all work for him. If you really want to dig in the crates, nigga, he wanted the first nigga trying that funny dress shit. Big Gip was the first nigga that I saw trying and that failed. shit. And it failed for him. Fail and it failed for him. Exactly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Exactly, Rock. When you, you answered, you answered ask. You answered ask. Hold on. It didn't, it didn't fail up. for 3,000, though. Because Let's be clear. Uh-huh. Let's be clear. You talking about a look. I'm talking about a sound. Yeah, Big no. Gip never had the Big sound. Gip, Big, Gip was, Big Gip was sweet as a bitch. He never had the sound. Big Gip was sweet as a bitch. Big Gip was that nigga. Big Gip was Big Gip was Big Gip was that nigga, Sean. He was never that nigga. He won't drink, but he was sweet. Big Gip tried a look early. Big Gip tried a look early. But he never had the sound. But he never had the sound. Big Gip tried a look early. And then try to claim it. sound to back it up. None of them can claim it. All that shit came from bottom. Hold on, hold on. All right. That's crazy. We go. Me and this the after show. Cause I got style in the fucking building. Yes, right. yes. We go, uh-huh. we go bring us some old shit. Getting hard. Hard. Oh, oh, oh. But I want to say, my voice. Right, go ahead and say something. Just say. Did, did you say, did you say Dre? Three thousand. 
3,000. 3,000. Yeah. Okay. That's how we know you ain't no Outkast fan. Outkast fans caught him three. I caught him 3,000. You saying lyrically, musically, Dre carried Big Boy, right? Yeah. But tell me who carried on Travis Ball for it. Q-Tip. It won't for the beats. It won't for the beats. Q-Tip, the beats, the beats. Come on, nigga. The beats, the beats. Hold up, hold up. You just said something that was very important. Yes. The whole format, the whole hold concept. Q-tip. And I, and I, Q-tip. And I, and I, and I got to concede to us. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Q-tip man. carried that shit. No, hold on. He said, I, he said, I made all the beats, but I said produced by Tribe because it was about the band. It's about the fam. It's about the brand. Yo, hold on. One thing I got to agree with Rock on. Yeah. Hold on. One thing I got to agree with Rock on. You did you did you you in the deep water musically <laughs> and conceptually Q tip was the driving force. Mm-hmm. He was called and I've seen I'd have seen Go ahead, keep going. Documentaries keep and, going. Yes, and interviews. Tip was that keep going. And uh Fife is agree. Like, yo, you Q tip would just call me and like, yo, keep I going. Got this beat. Yo, I'm gonna come and Keep spit. going. So <laughs> Conceptually, outcast. <laughs> Q-tip. Conceptually, Q-tip. musically, yes. Tribe was all. Q-tip. Tribe was nothing without Q-tip. That's nothing. One That's one hundred. However, and I've, and however, not only that, not only that. <laughs> you know, I've, I've however. heard other other. I mean, big name producers yeah. like yo, they follow Q-tip. Format of sampling and blah blah blah. Shout out Mob Deep. From from not Mob Shout Deep. Not Shout only Mob Deep. Yeah, about Shout out Mob Deep. Kanye West. P Rock. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So yeah. on that level, mm-hmm. yes. However, for for, for Fine. however, Fine. however, exactly. Yes. However, verbally for me, mm-hmm. when you're speaking to me, <laughs> when you're not saying nothing that makes sense to me, blah, 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 uh, blah, blah, I, blah, blah, yo. <laughs> Your Yo, beats, blah, 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 blah. Your <laughs> concepts can be dope, but when it don't make sense to me, I can't fuck with it. Can I? Now, okay, so, so now the Benita Apple Boom. Can I get it to make it to you? Was the the crown jewel? I mean, nigga, I love that record to the utmost. Did you like Can I Kick It? I love that. Did you like goddamn uh, right. elect, electric rate relaxation? Did you yeah, like yeah. goddamn uh, yeah, butter, bugger boo? Did you like that. butter? Hold on, Did you hold like hold goddamn hold sucker nigga? Did you like the no, whole Midnight Marauder album? No, I didn't. You ain't like the whole Midnight Marauder album? No, I didn't. Oh, that's one and of the greatest albums of all time. That's trash. Everybody just fucked up when I tell them that. Yeah, Yo, I'm I never, I know. I'm sorry. I never right. liked the whole tribe record. So I, let me ask y'all this. So how you don't understand, how you understand that concept that one person was the anchor. One person, goddamn, pulled the whole thing along. Right. Both equally valuable, right? Right. But you don't understand that about Big Boy and Andre. Because Drake, no, 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 no. Big Boy didn't do, do shit, but show up. That. He but just show up with his hats and missing. shit and his message, goddamn jerseys that. and shit. Big and Boy I, was just I there. I believe Andre was the anchor. No, no. Ed, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. As a fan of them niggas from day one, I swear to God, the truth is, B- Andre needed the time for his transition is my argument. And Big Boy that's your kept argument. No, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's, that's, that's my that's argument. Your perspective. Hold on. No, yeah, but hold on. That, that this is what we I'm trying to We all have a perspective. Yeah, I and know Big about Boy it right or wrong. Have his perspective and Dre don't have yeah. his. But from a fan's perspective, yo, I saw the transition cuz uh, to me in my perspective, if Big Boy would have been comfortable with them staying with the Southern Playalistic sound. And they was bigger than that. No, 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 no. They was, because yeah, Dre knew they it. they were. Because Dre knew it. Because of Dre. Right. That's what we give it. Dre is props. Yeah. What I'm telling you is, Big Boy was the anchor for the two albums while Dre was making his transition. Because you still got to get out the hood. Right. You still got to explain the shit to the I hood. Mean, the before hey y'all. Because it's self-explanatory right now. Like, Dre isn't doing any music. And Dre is Dre is doing. I mean, Big Boy is still making music. Right? Big Boy is He's still, still making touring. music, and it's not doing anything. That's not true. It's not. I, I, I just no, looked no, up a Big Boy hold tour. Up, hold on. Yeah. I put it this way. Yeah, it's first. not making an impact. If Dre, well, he's an old nigga at this point. I do, 
if motherfucking Andre was to be involved with what Big Boy was doing, this shit would motherfucking blow the fuck up tomorrow. Andre you has no Andre, Andre has the, the this is the thing too. Though. Yo, tomorrow. Andre has the benefit. Hold up. Andre also, because our niggas miss nuance sometimes. Andre has the benefit of scarcity and his peers always representing him. Niggas dad and thirsty for this nigga to drop. Well, why something. Big Boy don't have that? Because he been working the whole time. Big Boy drop off side solo album. Hold on. Hold on. They do nothing. They would do do like and Charlie Brown. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. And the truth about Big Boy is he was never the front man. You was never better than Andre. And you just answering your question. No, I, I understand my shit completely. He, deep down inside it, look. Hey, with, yeah. hey, hey, stop. I understand hey, stop. completely. When Big Boy goes on tour, Big Boy goes, Big Boy from Outkast. Right. You know what I'm saying? He, right. can't, he can't leave Outkast. Andre ain't got to say that. No, he All he got to say is Andre 3000. Yeah, Michael Jackson on never tour. said he had to say Michael Jackson from the Jackson Band. Okay. But, but Tito still had to play that goddamn bass to get him there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tito, nigga. <laughs> when Off the Wall came no, out, I'm Tito won't know where in the studio. You he know what I mean? To be. That's all I gotta say. He did all this work on the front all right, end. All right, to change the subject, <laughs> we go. We go take it back to some old old arguments. All right, let's go. All right, we was talking about the Cool Breeze record, Watch for the Hook. Uh, hold on. Remember Cool Breeze, Watch for the Hook? Watch oh, the ink. The whole joint is Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right, question. Right. Was the beat more, was the beat more fire than the record? Yes Absolutely. No? Absolutely. It was more fire than, than everybody else verse, but three stacks. I Ooh. think three stacks. I think Ooh. three stacks. Yo, three stacks <laughs> verse. Nigga. How you feel about oh Cool Breeze? Yeah. Right, hold on. God. All right, let, let, that how did, nigga what? first. Now everybody else, big boy, everybody else. Booty. 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 Straight booty. Booty. But motherfucking three stacks? He said it. Oh my God. And even three, yo, even CeeLo. He let I, me down. Still let me down. What? Oh now. No, no, no. No. Uh, compared to what was going no, on. Well, if you remember the song, CeeLo done some old. Yeah, 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 bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was real it. fast. I get that. All right, all right. But if you listen to what he's saying, though, mm -hmm. he's saying some uh, shit. Yeah. Now, he's not on the level of three stacks, but he's saying some shit. I get that. Them the only two niggas, and, I, and I'm not going to give C, I'm not going to give CeeLo nothing. Yeah. Because the only nigga to me at the end of the day, that song was hot to me because of three. I, I own it. I cut that shit off. I the rest I of the niggas. Fast forward to three. I the rest of the niggas. Cut it off after him. I, I think real three shit. Is first verse only. Yeah, first verse. Yeah, no, is it? yeah, he is. Word, good. Yeah, you didn't yeah. ever listen to the the East Point's greatest hit album. East Point's <laughs> greatest yeah. hits. Great answer. Great answer. No, no, great answer. no. Hold on. Let's say, okay. Right, hold okay. On, hold, hold up. up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I know it's cool. No, it's before cool. You go down. That means we starting with a blank slate. Right. You need to go do some fucking homework right. no, you and don't. listen to the. No, you don't stop. Yeah, I ain't gonna put no, you in no box. No, you don't. No, you don't. I, do you do you think do you think that don't you ever listen Rock to Rock? Rock yeah, you know what I'm saying. Rock exactly. don't listen to nothing bad since 1998. Exactly. Rock exactly. don't, don't listen to nothing bad since 1998. Stop. Do you think? Let, let's let's get out there. What about New York? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it is. Don't feel bad now. You saying it's right, and you never even heard it. All I need is Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. You, you, gonna you not going to like it. You not going to like it. You'll, like you'll it. fuck yourself up. Nep nephew you definitely ain't going to like it. Nephew definitely ain't going to like it. He definitely ain't going to like it, son. I guarantee you. Fuck what he said, son. Fuck with it. All right, look. I listen to all this shit, though. Yeah. New and old. You know what? You know what? And I got to, you know, as 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 an enthusiast, I'm going to have to listen to it. Listen to it. Absolutely. Prove me wrong. I don't care. But no. Rock ain't heard a rock. Rock has not heard a new rap album since 1998. I'm going to tell you something, too. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Hold on. Look. That was hard. It's hard, bro. It's hard, bro. It's hard. Thank you, sir. I'm going to tell you about rock. Yeah, I like, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like Benny, like, Benny the Butcher. Benny the Butcher is that nigga, sir. Yeah, hey, West Side Gun, Benny the Butcher. What, 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 yeah, that what, my nigga. What, what's your, uh, what's your sign, man? Huh? What's your sign? Leo. I, nigga, first 
Leo. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> Do they got a sign for ridiculous? <laughs> yeah. But no, they know what they like. Yeah. Nigga, I know what I like. Let me ask you a question. I know what he like. Uh, uh, but no, hey, he, he really I, do. I, I'm gonna have to take what he said. No, let's do it. Go ahead. Yeah. Right, go ahead. What take it. it. Boom. East, <laughs> East Side Boys. East Point's greatest East, hits. East Point's greatest hit. This is it. It's one of the greatest one-hit yeah. albums yeah. ever. Yeah. Ooh, seriously. Bars. Bars. That's pushing it. That's really Soul pushing it. Street, that's nigga. That's pushing it. Hey, the Cool Breeze album. It's Cool Breeze. All right, oh, oh, oh. corrupt. All right, hey, look, everybody. hey, look, it's 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 a fake attempt for Ti. Then Ti came. Cool Breeze was the fake uh, fake Ti. Then Ti came. So basically, that's no. Ti was built off of Cool Breeze. Okay. okay. Ti was built off. Of Jeezy was who, built who's off better? of Cool Breeze. But who's better okay. though? You know all niggas be talking that trap shit. They got some Cool Breeze. Okay. Okay. All that shit came okay, from cool. cool Breeze. I'm I'm tripping like y'all equating Ti and Cool Breeze. I'm tripping. That's where he came from. Speak on the mic, Steph. Speak on the mic, Stop. Speak on the mic, Stop. I'm computing it yeah. right now because, yo, I never looked at shit like that. Jeezy, all them niggas came from goddamn crazy, Cool Breeze. Hey, look. But, but, I was in my auntie house, all that Cool Breeze. Ooh, all that. But, but, but hey, look, T.I., yeah. T.I., though. <laughs> he missed it. Yeah. I, I yeah, missed yeah. it. Oh, And nigga. kept going. Right. You know what I'm saying? And kept going. Nigga, I ain't that shit. Hey. Look, I, I, let me, you going to lie to yourself with that nigga? No, no, fuck it. No, 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 no. Hey. Yeah. Because I, no, I get it. Because it was <laughs> at a point. No, 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 no. <laughs> because I was at a point again. I I was at a point. We came from that same era yeah. of lyricism. Yeah. So I almost missed it. Because he kept saying, "I'm the king of the south." Who the fuck is this no, dumbass nigga? No, I didn't get. But Shit. I had to, you know, like I said, I got to go back to what what uh, Premier said. Hip hop is a language. You got to learn how to listen to it. And for me, it was like I. He talking the same shit, so uh, let me, let me, but he doing it a different way. I, no, he I just mean, sound different. I look, uh, yeah, exactly. Look, we're going to go, we gonna keep it on the cool breeze. The Biggie, cool breeze Jay-Z shit. Era. The New York. When, when, yeah, when and it, now this nigga country ass nigga it, yeah. spitting so, the shit these so niggas spitting. it took me a minute ah, okay, to with catch it. on to, because at first, T.I. was spitting like them. Yeah, when right. he did the joint with uh, with the with, who was the 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 the, the, the Jamaican dude? Beanie Man. Man. He did the joint. You didn't hear that shit. Was like, who the fuck right. is and this? I, no. Yo, I loved it. I, I was like, going. who the fuck is this but nigga? I fast niggas, forward. But New York niggas won't feel in that shit. And they don't need him. <laughs> but when he came now, back, and look what happened. They needed him. But but he, now. T.I. was yo. He was smart enough to know how to do it. He created this whole trap shit. So he no, he wow, did but that's what we telling you. Cool it breeze came did. from Cool so, Breeze. Uh, but, but it don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. He made it, he made it when popular, you listen to Cool Breeze, you go. But, but that's all it matters. But cool, but everything came from somebody. Yeah, everything. And Cool yeah, Breeze yeah, got it from yeah, somebody. Yeah. I look, I look. Hold on. Let me say this real quick. Right. Interestingly enough, I always cite this. 50 is the first New York rapper to try to sound like a Southern nigga. Yo, actually, that's true. The no, very first no. one. That's true. The very first one. That's true. And nobody's ever acknowledged that. That's true. That's true. He He said it himself. He said it himself. His first record with the Shawnees and all that shit. I was like, yo, what is he saying? And I got it. Yeah. But that's why I say, man, I don't give 50 a whole lot of, you know what I mean? That Power of a Dollar shit was dope, though. He would never be with DMX is unapologetic. All right, let me, let me, let me. So what do you say, Rock? All right, all Let's go back to Cool Breeze. All right. Yeah. The, the Watch for the Hook song, right? Yeah. That's the only song you know. No, because because that's the God only. Damn, that's why the we only talk about that's why. the only hot song you know. No, if you thank never heard, you. if you thank never heard the album, you. thank you. If you never I, heard the album, I you heard cannot that say that. Album. Yeah, listen to me. All right, all right. There's no not, way you right, heard look, that album. All right, all right. Maybe I need to listen to it in 2020. But when I heard it, when it came out, no, you gave it a once over. So I give lots of albums once over. And there's a reason because there was never another single. Release from that motherfucker. All right, let me ask my question, Stan, to you, because these niggas is blind. All right. <laughs> All right. Do you think that Watch for the Hook beat was too much beat for them niggas other than Andre 3000? Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. So y'all two, saying. tell that, us who would have did beat, it better. That beat, Everybody that rapped over that beat, Shout out to Major Figures. Yo, they killed that bitch. That I heard Jay rap over that bitch. That New York. Nigga, nigga, rap over that go bitch. ahead. Give me some more. 
New York feeling what Joe else? Biden's killed New it. New York. Joe Biden's killed it. New York. Yeah. Now, anyone New York? I mean, what what you else? Want? Give me some out. I mean, what what I ain't never heard Snoop tell rap over. Hey, listen. I never heard Snoop rap over. I'm not gonna tell you a lie. I never heard if a nigga don't kill a motherfucker, beat. That beat was too much for niggas. That beat was too much for niggas. That shit was too much. Too much for him. Yeah, I mean, organized yo, noise was like, God damn, we should have gave this bitch to somebody they else. Should have gave it to Jay God or damn, or this somebody. shit was too dope. Yo, I, I yo, they nigga, know what to do with that beat. Uh, uh, yo, and I'm sorry, not sorry, but when I first heard it, I was like, Yo, these niggas ain't built for this shit. They ain't built for it. That's, That's a hip hop beat. That's what I said. And they, they too. That's what they I said. They too trapped in a. Hey, let me hear your top five. Let me mentality. let me hear your top five style. Yeah, let's, let's, we just stop. Yeah, that is first good question. First of all, big style. <laughs> okay. Okay. Number one. All right. If you don't motherfucking love your motherfucking shit. Then you don't need to be fucking happy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no okay, the president get a vote too. I okay. will vote for uh, myself. Uh, okay. So um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Off the top, Jay. Okay. That's my nigga, Big L, Big Daddy Kane, Cool uh LL Cool J Ooh. and Cool G Rap. Okay. You never made it out of a two block. <laughs> you know what I mean? Rock you. Uh, that's that's oh, that's in New York. Rock oh, you already told me. I grew up. I'm I'm an East Coast nigga. Stop, we grew up in this shit. Them niggas don't claim you, nigga. I don't give a fuck. (laughs) You know what I mean? Hold on. Let me say this. Let me say this. Why do you got to... I'm I'm with y'all, even though y'all don't claim me. I'm going to. Hold on, nigga. Let me say this. Say this. And I I agree with you. (laughs) They don't. And I said this to niggas when I was... In the 90s, when I was going up to New York doing showcases. They don't fuck with us, so why we claim... I don't claim them. Right. So, but at the end of the day, that's the hip hop I grew under. I was born in 1970. Yeah. So my prime influences in hip hop was from Moby, LL. Me too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Boom, I uh, Slay, Until I heard so NWA. I'm not gonna <laughs> deny them. It deny it. I right. think them niggas, I think West Coast niggas will have more respect they for a Virginia nigga no. than a New York nigga. They do. But it ain't about that. You asked my influence. <laughs> you didn't ask my respect. Why I love hip-hop. I got you. Why I, I love you. hip-hop. I got you. What, what, what's my the first reason why you love hip-hop? We're, we're from New York, nigga. Yeah. Because that's all I knew. But yeah. the West Coast. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. But this is the thing that Snoop said. He said, nigga, we grew up off LL and them niggas. We want to beat them niggas. When we caught fire, them niggas disrespected exactly. us. And we had to run them niggas over. And when I heard Snoop say that, I say, well, why is my allegiance to some niggas that think we got know. cows ro- walking around hey, in our neighborhood? I'm not fucking with them niggas Yo, like nigga, that. I totally fucking agree and with I you. And I like your music, but I'm not, a, my allegiance is not to you. Yo, nigga, yo, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. We even got on yeah. yeah. I told niggas, because, yo, when y'all was going around. Speaking of my style. I was up in New York. This, this is some good shit. Speaking of my style. When I, I was uh, up in New York doing showcases like a motherfucker, too. And yo, I tell niggas, yo, I, I stand by that shit to this day. That's why I told Rock, I said, yo, I'm proud of with this new generation that they don't have those same biases about East Coast, West Coast, and all that dumb shit. If it's hot, that's all that matters. I said, yo, because we done been in, I, yo, nigga, I done been in showcases. Well, motherfucker, as soon as you say you from Virginia, nigga, Ooh, you know, yeah. Now, you know, yeah. I used to have to start off with an acapella to let them let, niggas know nigga, how I, I Nigga, I do this. Yo, I do this. this exactly. Do. And then they'd be like, all right, word, word. But, yo, yo, I'm like, yo. I've West never Coast niggas that. never did that. They just yeah, did it on so their own. Niggas, even when that East Coast, West Coast shit was popping, I never understood it. It's like, nigga, I'm from the South. I get treated the same way as a West Coast. You know nigga. the interesting you know, thing? New York ain't like nobody that one. You, know the, you know the interesting thing about Virginia? I seen them niggas just. Hell yeah, nigga. Then they the only girl to act like we do that. Yeah, exactly. All the fuckers did do that. Nigga, it was understandable. It was understandable. It was understandable. It was that okay. It was cool. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, them niggas went under. Yeah. So, 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 explain that. I mean, hey. Hey, you win some, you lose ass, some. Nigga, you like win I said, you win some, you lose some. And when I was yeah. in New York, like I told Rock, when I was in you New York, yo, them motherfuckers, you I would hear them niggas, K-Slay 
and, and, and uh, uh, who is it? Mr. C, all them niggas. Yo, we <laughs> shout never, out when, when Mr. C. When Master P was blowing the fuck up, it you was like, we're not, we not going to yeah. motherfucking play this shit. <laughs> They would be hating on the fuck. I mean, hating on the. You, you know, an interesting thing about Virginia. This goes to the people from Virginia that's watching this shit. And if you're artists and creators, this is going straight to YouTube too. By the way, yeah, this this, this, inter- this, yeah, this is an interesting thing about this. Virginia, yo. I love this shit. Man. South niggas don't consider you South neither. They don't. Yep. And, do you, and you know, you know the weird predicament that Virginia is in. Our mass of people is in North Virginia, Maryland, and DC. DC don't look at Baltimore like DC niggas. Maryland don't look yeah. at D.C. The like Maryland Atlantic niggas, and Virginia don't look at goddamn D.C. or Maryland niggas like Virginia niggas. Oh, That's the ear, the ill fucking, and the most traction we ever got that Virginia could have rolled was the DMV shit, and D.C. niggas won't gonna rock for your ass. No. Because right. that ain't D.C. shit. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you understand what I'm that saying? I thought it was crazy how they put us in that, in that box like, DMV, like, that's like, yeah. we not the same. But right. no, we not the same. Yeah, we However, not the same. if a DC nigga on top and he give VA some shine, you got to jump on the bus because I'm trying to tell you, them niggas yeah. ain't rocking with you like that. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. But that's real, though. And man. you go to Georgetown, yeah, you cross a bridge and you in Virginia. Yeah. Man. And we are not the same. Yo, no. but what's crazy to me is when I grew up, it, what's crazy to me about the DC Virginia shit is how the lack of uh, Go Go is out here now. When I grew up, you like Go Go yeah. music? What? I like Do it I? live. Is it serious? I like uh, it live a nigga, lot. When I grew up, Go Go was everything. Go Go and hip hop was one. Yeah. The Joe, yeah. uh, well, from 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 from. Uh, uh, you know what Go Go is, nephew? Joe. Now he don't fuck <laughs> And that's crazy. Man, you need to come hang and out, nigga. <laughs> that shit is not <laughs> impressive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, because I want him to understand. You ain't missing nothing, nephew. You, you ain't missing nothing. You got a whole generation. Oh, that nigga ridiculous. Don't whole listen to that nigga. You ain't going to make it nowhere and listen to that nigga. You got a whole generation of Virginia motherfuckers. He like money bag, yo. He ain't missing no goddamn go I'm going to tell you one thing about go-go niggas. And that shit is disheartening to me. I'm going to tell you one thing about go-go niggas. That shit is crazy. One hustle I learned for real early, rock and rock. And you probably never heard me even say this out loud. One time we went and did a show. And that shit was like in the fucking country. And it was like Rare Essence or some shit. Mm-hmm. You know what these niggas did? Mm-hmm. These niggas bought DC to the country. Yeah. They bought a bus. Yeah. They bought two or three buses, yeah. actually. They sold the fucking seats. So they got paid for the show. You sold the seats. The seats paid for the bus. We put some money in our pocket. We bought our whole live show to fucking Virginia Charter mm-hmm. and didn't need none of y'all niggas. Yeah. Get money, D.C. That's yeah, what I'm saying. That's real. I want tripping on like, Get yo, money. we got a whole movement out here that niggas is not capitalizing on. Even D.C. niggas is in a different mm. spot now. But they get money in D.C. To, though if they want to. But it's different because I talk to niggas and they be like, yo, man, it's different. It ain't like back in the 80s, man. It's I'm about different. To fuck, I'm about to fuck everybody up. Go ahead. All right. Let's go. Let's about switching subjects to go. How you feel about Bahamadia, Sean? Bahamadia? Bahamadia. Her fro From nicer Africa. than my daddy fro. Uh, no, Bahamadia. <laughs> Like let's that new happen. I don't know where where happened. All right, like lyric, like lyric. Do you want to make sweet love to Muhammad? No. Do you respect (laughs) when Muhammad came out? Do you respect? Was was Muhammad with that shit? Yeah, no. Muhammad was a beast. Yes, he was. I put up there with with like my homegirl. My homegirl. Yeah. Yeah, That she ain't no rage. You got up there with rage. Oh, no, nah, I put rage over that. Okay. Yeah, bar for bar, yeah. Rage well, ain't to be seen. On a scale of one to ten, lyrically, where you get Muhammad Diaz? He always looking for validation. <laughs> yeah, anybody that come visit, he asks about Damn, big nigga, boy, <laughs> Muhammad Diaz, and right, Q-Tip. No, real shit, real shit. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm going back. I got to remember now. I'm calling like what it is. When they bump it in the Jeep, she going to rock right I ain't. Nah, she was a beast. What'd you give her afro? That's an easier question. <laughs> What'd you give her fade? I what uh, what did you get at? Eight and a half on the yeah, on the fade. Yeah. 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 This yeah. is oh, <laughs> nigga, I'm drunk and uh, you got me going back to ninety two. <laughs> nigga, I got yo, I'ma say by I'm gonna pull the picture a like seven. That. I'll say by seven <laughs> or eight. <laughs> All right. Now, she got the Hold on. Man, this is always my measurement, right? right. Best female rap you ever heard. Is <laughs> no, no, just period. Your favorite <laughs> female rapper. I'm talking about go ahead and put all of your MC in. 
Yeah, give, I'll give you a second, yo. Well, hold on. Let me explain it, though. <laughs> let, let me explain it. This is because me and Rock are have a beef over Fat Joe, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, let's take it down. Hold on, hold on. Let's take it I'm going okay. right. oh, okay. to do this shit right now. Yeah. Fat Joe is a motherfucker to know how to make a fucking hit record. Oh. He one of the best that ever did it. Okay, but this is the issue, though. Your favorite, the best rapper you ever, Nas. I'm talking about Kane. I'm talking about Rakim. I'm talking about Jake. I'm talking about Nas. I'm talking about, I'm talking about goddamn um, the genius. I'm talking about Red yeah, Man. Yeah. How far away from them niggas is it's Fat Joe? Joe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and a second. And the, <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, fuck that. And the B part. Hold on, fool. Hold on, fool. And the B part. And the B part. You are a question. long way. Hold on. Yeah, and the, back over What's up, man? Was, <laughs> hey, it's not. Oh, and the B oh. part to that question is, <laughs> shout out to Mike Street, because this nigga disrespected Fat Joe. He said, <laughs> Fat Joe and Young Thug is the same artist. They are. They are. And I understand what he's saying. No, they're not the same rapper. They got the same hit-making ability. But I don't know, because we got to see if Young Thug be Fat around. Fat Joe and Young year. Thug. Nah, huh? Yeah, if he lasts long as Fat Joe. Still. But at, the, but at the point where he said it at, though, hit for fucking hit, yeah, they was in can. the same window. He said Fat Joe and Young Thug is the same artist. We can't Let equate that. Do you think nah, Fat Joe nah. can rap? Yes. You think he can rap? Nah, I think, nah, he, nah, I think nah, he can nah, rap. Nah, 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 he better than Big Boy. I'm asking for a reason. He's right? a better rapper than Big Boy. Hold there ain't no way. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do you think let's, go, let's go deeper. He a rapper if he an MC. Fat Joe? Yes. He ain't no MC. Fat Joe is a rapper. Fat Joe is a rapper. Fat Joe is a rapper. Fat Joe is a MC. And the best album you oh, ever had, Ray. Pun Fat Joe, Rapper, it. Runny Ray. Uh, rapper yeah, MC. MC exactly. Fat Joe was spitting that shit. Digging in the crates, nigga. Fat Joe, nigga. That's what I'm Come on. But that's what I mean. Okay. Fat Joe, MC, that learn how to make music. No, nah, Fat Joe Joe's a Joe rapper. Joe, Fat Joe, he won't spin? Yeah, I okay. Fat Joe, rap. Fat Man. Joe, uh, MC. Okay. I, yo, he ain't no I MC. My, my point? Go ahead. I, I think Fat Joe was digging in crates. He started as an MC. Um, but at this point, I think he's, yeah, he's a rapper. He, he, if it's not a commercial record that's going to, Equivalate to some type of monumental game. Oh, and he one of the best that ever did. So he, it. so he get, but he and he's great at doing it. So he, he one of the best that ever did. Hit I'm not hitting well, on that. Let me ask y'all this: I'm like both of y'all. Do, do, do you become a rapper when you start making hit records? No, no. That's what it sound like to me. Y'all saying? That's what you saying? No, 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 no. That's what you saying? Listen, listen. Fat Joe never seemed like big, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me delve. Deeper. Hold on. Right. What? You there are diff- there are three to me. There are three <coughs> categories. You have rappers, you have MCs, and you have hip hop artists. And he was all three. No, he wasn't. No, nigga. Fat Joe was all three. So. No, he's a rapper. Shit is real. Now, um, the Primo remix. Certain artists I are know. MCs. Certain artists are MCs. Big Daddy Kane, Rakim, Big uh, KRS One. They are MCs. Gotcha. They only subscribe to the passion of the art. And whatever that means to the art and the culture, they're going to contribute to that. Now, you have certain artists that are just rappers who, to me, that means more of a commercial value. Like, yo, we're here. We, we got a certain talent. And Master P is it. a rapper. Right. Ja Rule, Nelly, they're rappers. You know. I don't uh, agree with that, though. I, I do I do agree with Nelly. Ja Rule's a rapper. I do, I do agree ja with Rule's Nelly. A rapper. Yeah, Ja Rule's a rapper. No, yeah, no, I, I do. No, hold on. Because this goes to the question that's of food. That's my, again, this is just my point. I, ja Rule. I can really like summon. Ja Rule's pure. I, I thought that's exactly who he was. I, 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 I can't. And there's nothing wrong with no, that. No, no, no. But huh. then, you have, <laughs> then you have hip-hop artists who are able to transcend both, mm. who are able to make commercially valuable records as well as being true to the culture of lyricism and MCing, like, nah, Big Daddy, Nah, I got Jiggy, the, you know I got the very those, simple those explanation. Those are those who are able to be, be able to transcend that and contain the culture within itself without selling it out and being, you know, just exploited. You know what I mean? But I, I, 
Uh, Drake is a uh, Drake is, is both. He's a hip hop artist. Yeah, he's both. Yeah. He's no different from LL Cool J to me. Yeah, the real that's shit. That's real. I've never heard that comparison. Yeah, that is that's awesome. real. That's real. I love that comparison. That's real. Yeah. He go. He go. Very. If if you're a young person listening to this shit, like his nephew nephew is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nephew, nephew was saying some ridiculous shit before we start recording. But go ahead. He goes up. His so goes a very simple explanation. Yeah, and I'm right. not gonna do the hip hop artist because that was yeah. very concise. Exactly. An uh, MC raps to be the best rapper in the room. Absolutely. Three stacks. Hold on. Jay-Z. That that's what it. That's that's what the bad nigga. And that's why I don't put Ja Rule nah, there. Big Daddy Kane. Because I've seen. Hold on. Because right. right. I've seen Jay, Ja Rule want to be the best rapper in the room. Yeah. I have seen it. Yeah. I have felt it. I understand it. Hold up. A rapper raps for money. Master P, motherfucking, um, Yo Hot Gotti. Boys. Yeah, Yo no, Gotti. Yo Gotti is not money that nigga. Bag, yo. That is not true. Like that is it, not man. true. <laughs> money bag, yo, Young Dolph, niggas of that nature. And it's nothing, Dirk. it's nothing wrong with it. It's not, it's not good. See, you disrespecting it's these little niggas. It's, it's wrong. nothing wrong with it. Wrong yeah, with it yeah, and it yeah. come from a place. This is exactly. the explanation that you need. But the thing is, rap was once at a place where um, the only people who had money to put your product out and get it moving was drug dealers. Right. Okay. Drug dealers are doing it for the money. Yeah. So we go get niggas that rap for the money. MC Shorty are people who want to be the best. Rapper in the room, when niggas. You, I want to listen to. Yeah, when he you put saying, yo, what he's saying is so. It's funny. absolutely yeah. th- that's but, it. But would you yo allocate your 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 ass- assessment <laughs> assessment <laughs> to uh, drug dealers is no different from the the music industry. Yeah, yeah, it's not. That's how they think. But and I try to explain the cats like, yo, it, when you at the end of the day. This is a business. What people misunderstand is that people get a misunderstanding that the music industry is about the art or the creativity, and it's so not. It's not. It's so about the money. It is so, when it's invented, though. Right. It was. Yeah. When it's when music be. when music is invented, it's about the art. Right. Yeah. When it get capitalized, now it's about the money. It's about the money. And what people don't understand is like, all right. Nobody invests. Everything is an investment when it comes to this music. Yeah. So if I'm investing in you, I'm not investing in you just to make that same money back. Any investment is about making a profit. Like when I was out here hustling, yo, what I if I got a brick for 25, I wanted to make 30 or more off the motherfucker. I'm not <laughs> here to, you know, make the same, you know, you know what I mean? I'm not going to spend the same money on a brick. To get the same money back, yeah. that's stupid. Young man, you know what I mean? Do, do you understand now? Though? He know, no, he already know. Yeah, because maybe you don't. Have, you now do have. Got, hold on, but you do have MCs. That's the interesting piece of it. You got Cole. Yeah. You Hill got fuck, Cole. Yeah, but hold on. Hill from Cole. Yeah, hold on. You got Cole, Kendrick. Hill from Cole. Do you like Corday? I like the unstoppable music. I don't listen to that shit. All these <laughs> niggas are. Kendrick I'm Cold is it? He don't listen to none of them niggas. He listens to Money Bag Yo and Lil Durk. So yeah, t- 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 tell yeah, me a yeah. nigga that, that that you think got lyrics. Like when he say shit. I don't listen to music with Kendrick. Ooh. Oh. Uh, what are you doing? Oh. 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 He said he don't listen to lyrics for lyrics. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You just said a whole You just said a whole lot. He said don't touch him. So you don't listen to think you just listen. That, and I listen hold on. See that's it. <laughs> see, hold on. <laughs> and, it, and it's not that I, I ain't knocking it. All I'm saying is when you get into the money, I tried to Definitely say this see, earlier, see we and we talk. didn't have an opportunity that's to elaborate real. on it. Right. But the truth of the matter is, when it get to the money, all we looking for is sex, drugs, and violence, because that's what works yeah. every yeah. fucking that's time. Titties. As balance sells. and fucking clothes that's and shit, sells. it works every fucking time. And that's where you lose the goddamn heart in the shit. And I tell you, hold on, do you like um do you like Lil Baby? That, that nigga is on the right page, right? But no, that nigga's on the right page. Let me elaborate. Yeah, Lil Baby. He on the right page. But this is, but yo, this is what I want to elaborate on is that we are the only culture. Culturally based music that does that. You can't go to Q94 and hear nah. nothing about killing a motherfucker. When you hear any, cult, any other culturally based music, 
you're not gonna hear the negativity that you hear spitting to black culture. I go one when deeper. When you go to country, a uh, country radio station, you don't hear that shit. Pop radio, and you station, might hear it on some Rocky outlaw way. shit. I shot a man. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's, it's not glorified. No, it's the whole it's story. We go and they push that to us. You know the interesting thing and that then, and I, I made a song about this shit called House Nigga. Like yo. This, yo, it's a lot of artists out here that is putting positive records out and doing positive shit. But what happens is the same shit that happens to most of us. The record labels will pick you up or, or holler at you. Hey, man, come in. Let me talk to you. And then when they hear your product, they'll be like, hey, man, look, the shit is hot. But, you know, what you're saying make niggas want to think too much. Make, you know, make niggas want to do some more. When I, what I need you to do is, you know, spit some more hard shit. I got a, I got yeah, a TED if talk. If you ain't spitting hard shit or, or what they consider, yeah. This, this is interesting. I got a story, a TED talk story. So it's this white pastor, right? He's a pastor, grew up with black people. And what he was talking about was Rick Ross, right? Mm-hmm. So Rick Ross raps about killing niggas, selling drugs, all of that murder shit, all of that, right? right. This is what happens, though. He goes and asks the question. He says <laughs> to the record label and the radio station, after Rick Ross get in trouble. Rick Ross got in trouble for saying, with Reebok, saying that I dropped a pill in her drink yeah, and yeah. got them got her high and fucked her, right? So he loses his job behind that, right? right? So he goes and acts. He was like, well, well, you talk about murdering niggas and selling drugs all the time. Yeah, well, he was like, hold on. He was like, well, exactly. why don't y'all have a problem with that? He was like, well, it depends on who is saying it and who they are saying it to. That is the st- that is the game. That's the biggest game. That is the game. And that's now, why, and that's why I changed my whole direction when no, I came. No, and on. that's what you do. That's not a problem. The problem is we don't have any kind of balance. Right. Give me trap and hammer and NWA all at the same time, and let me pick from it. Niggas Drive. tend to think, yeah, yeah. trap too. Niggas tend to think you pick <laughs> what you listen to. You don't pick that shit. No. Somebody picked that shit it's for why, you. It's the reason why it's called a program yeah. director. Somebody picked that shit for on you. On the radio station. Right. Exactly. And then they tell you, well, that shit ain't hot. That ain't what niggas want to listen to. Right. Well, 1990, niggas was listening to NWA and MC Hammer. What? Yeah. Which is interesting. And P.E. And P.E. But now you tell me that ain't what the street want to hear. But you go to Q. Nicki Minaj, I always say this shit. Nicki Minaj, when you hear her on that radio station, that bitch talking about shaking ass, getting money, sucking dick, yeah. fucking. When that bitch did Starships and that shit went to Q94, that bitch talking about working all week. I took my check. I'm riding in a hoopty. I spent my little money, but I'm going to have fun because girls want to have fun shit. It no, 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 no. What, what happens is they make those songs. Speaking of Mike Star. The they make those <laughs> songs for the Q94 audience. Of course. And make the other songs for us. I'm popping that ass in the club yeah. and all that. And we don't own none of that shit, so don't, don't. blame the rapper. But they that's why I say, man, the industry, own none of that shit. the industry has turned into the new blackface. Now they <laughs> can't, they can't like walk kid. around <laughs> with, with with blackface like a white man and, and try to pretend to be in our culture. So what they do is they assimilate us. Yeah. That's why I say it's a part of, uh, like a song I said, uh, the song I made, um, uh, God damn, uh, House Nigga. And yo, they assimilate us into this motherfucking, this motherfucking system and then say, hey, this is what you need to do to become hot. And so <laughs> they tell you, you got a bunch of white people now dictating to you as a black artist. What to say to black culture. But you don't need that shit no more. No, no we don't. But, nigga, you still chasing it. You're right. Motherfuck, yo. All these artists I see on Facebook and Instagram, they still chasing a fucking deal. And yeah. I be like, yo, why the fuck are you chasing this shit? Yeah. Yeah. When you yeah. bit. Yeah. I asked a nigga the other day. Your own motherfucking I, shit. I, said, I asked a nigga the other day. Mm. Would you ra- I was talking about the um, Peter Gunn shit, right? And, you know, Steely Dan told them niggas, I ain't making no money off this shit. They kept all the money, right? Yeah. What goddamn Peter Guns or Tariq says is, well, you know what? We'll rock with that because we'll make another record. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's exactly. your booty. As a, first of all, that's the first thing. As an artist, you don't know if you got another hit. Yeah. Yeah. You no, have no you idea. Absolutely. So my booty. question is this. second single's booty. So my question exactly. was this to the nigga. And it is a room full of niggas. I say, so would you rather have made $50,000 off of your record that you own, that's your 50, in your hand, in your pocket? Yeah. Or would you have rather gave Steely Dan that record and say, I'm going to go ahead and take the promotion? Which one would you took? 
But back then, them yeah. niggas wanted to be famous. Yeah. That was the hottest. That's the whole hustle with music, period. That was the hottest record that year. It was. Because, listen, because that's all we had. Yeah. And that's why I tell artists, like, yo, you are in a different position than the, the era we grew up in. Yeah. We had to, again, we had to get up, go out, travel, and do all this shit. We had to spend crazy bread. Just to holler at DJ and, and you need a drug dealer you know, to do nigga. that. <laughs> real, real quick. Hey, if you ain't the drug, then you gotta be that nigga to. to, to nigga, to every do. nigga that ever took care of us was a motherfucking like a drug dealer. <laughs> I had to be my yeah. own hustler to do my shit. All of them. All of them. Oh, and I don't, I, ain't, I don't name names on no shit. Like oh, all yeah. I'm saying yeah. is, out of all oh, eight, oh, nine, yeah. ten of them, yeah. every one of them. Was a hustler. Nigga, a hustler nigga. Gotta tell me. Yeah. I already know because that shit cost. Yeah. That shit cost. Yo, that shit cost. That's why, yo. Yeah. You know the shit I was talking about was, yo, nigga, we living this yeah. shit. I don't give a fuck this about it, what nobody This did. one. But the thing is, it comes to, like, what are you willing to sacrifice for that? And when I got with motherfucking, um, <laughs> when I got with Scarface, with, with, with 20 million. Yes, when I got with uh, yeah. rap a lot in Scarface, and Scarface said the realest shit to me, he was like, yo, man, I'm going to tell you something. When It's a Problem Blue and all that shit started to happen for me, he was like, look, I'm going to tell you some real shit. He was like, look, the game will throw you a lot of shit. He was like, look, don't compromise who you are and your integrity to get to a certain level. Because yeah. trust me, the motherfuckers that's up there, they compromise a whole lot of shit. Like don't let nobody it, fool it, you. It just depends, though, man. Yeah. I don't. I, that sounds sage advice. However, a nigga like Jay Z, you had to compromise to get this far. You're sitting at a seat but in the, in the, at the NFL. But you gotta, would you would you gotta understand though? And I say this to any artist. And first of all, I want to say this to young niggas. That shit y'all watch on TV is fake, nigga. Yeah. yeah. That shit is fucking fake. Oh, that shit is that's fake. That's fake, nephew. And, I, and I'll bust it down. <laughs> no, hold on. I'll bust that shit down for you. You made $2 million this year. Uncle Sam get goddamn 800000 off the top. Off the top. Then your goddamn management and shit get goddamn 10% of that. Yeah. Absolutely. And then you got your mama and your break daddy and your brother to take care ahead, of. Go ahead. Go to the math. And then you're going to want to live a fucking life. Yeah. Nigga, if at the end of that year you don't go make another $2 million that year, at the end you're broke. Period. Yeah. That's Great. all it is. That shit is to make you think them niggas is successful. Yeah. It's all for you to see. Yeah. And, and and it's all fucking fake. However, Shorty, I I don't have a problem with the the notion that if you're not able to be used, you're useless, right? So if you're gonna use me and I'm Jay Z, mm-hmm. I'm gonna use you too. I'm gonna take the information. I'm gonna take the goddamn knowledge. And this well, is what Nick Cannon true. should be doing. That's you true. got thirty years of tutelage under these motherfuckers. Uh, you ain't take your own money and go do your own true. shit. Like when, when I was working with rap a lot, yeah, like yo, rap. Uh, Shout out to rap Texas Shout niggas, out Texas Shout niggas, Texas niggas, knew, Texas niggas knew that shit twenty years yo, ago. That nigga Shout Jay, Jay Prince, Prince is always my nigga. That, yo, that, that's that nigga. a that's a that's a mysterious nigga too. Cause I was in very, Houston very and I put the camera on Jay Prince and he had five niggas block him. Yeah. Like they like they saw me he coming, shut it. I said, no, it's yo. Jay Prince. Do y'all oh, understand? Just but he don't like do a mirror. that. He don't do like, y'all? That hold on. He owns some real shit. Hold on. Do y'all something. niggas he understand? Got bodies, hold on. Wait, 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 Let me ask y'all this though. No, do you shit. understand? Hold on. Hold on. Let me say this. When he, he fuck, do. yo, all I can say is this: when he fuck with you, he fuck with you. Yeah. Cool. So, like with me, like yo, I just heard from a nigga like uh, when the <laughs> when uh, Drake and Pussy T beef yeah. popped up, yo. We had a conversation about that, yeah. you know what I mean? But again, yo, but that nigga, and not only him, but yo, he trained his son, yo, yeah. man, them <laughs> motherfuckers. I met them niggas when they was like 18, like, yo, them motherfuckers was a beast mentally, business-wise. And street Then I was like, yo, and I'm grown, nigga. I'm like, yo, I'm sitting there like, word, tell me more, nigga. Yeah. Like, yo. I- them nigg- yo, he trained. Yo, I want to say this about Jay yo, Prince too, Jay though, Shada. Yeah, I, 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 I want to say this about Jay Prince too, Shada. Yes, I want, I want to say this about Jay Prince and Jay Z, man. Hopefully, a nigga learn something from this shit, because a lot of niggas don't understand the reason that Nick Cannon got fired, right? Because yeah. mm-hmm. he never said let's go kill all the Jews. He never said that. No, 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 no. no. What he did was shine a spotlight on some right. niggas that understand keeping your head low, mm-hmm. right? And the same thing what you say with Jay Prince. 
I don't need to be on no fucking camera. Yeah. I don't need nobody to know I'm the fucking boss. Yeah. All I need to do is write these goddamn checks. Yeah. And my fucking niggas don't understand. If 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 I'm selling drugs, what good is it if nobody knows? Yeah. I don't know how we got there. Yeah. Cause it did not used to be like that. Yeah. The truth yeah. of the matter is, them Jewish motherfuckers, you listen. You can't name one white person in Baron Stearns, AIG, motherfucking Wells Fargo, yeah. motherfucking CBS. Yeah. You can't name now one of them niggas. No, you can't. And it's for a reason. You can't. You probably walk past the niggas in Walmart. Goddamn right. You better you know keep your saying? head low. Yeah. yeah. And they understand that shit. Niggas haven't. And I ain't knocking niggas. We just haven't figured it out yet. Yeah. Jay yo, figured it out. Yeah. Yo, Jay yo, Prince no. figured it out. Yo, Jay know. Keep Jay, your head low. Jay know that. Shit don't need to be said. We gonna have and a, when the, the problem, with, the, one of the problems with our community is we like to be more outspoken about the shit that yeah. we're doing. Yeah. And Jay is like, yo, we don't need to talk about that. Nope. Let's just do it. Yeah, by the time these it, niggas figure out what I'm doing, I already got right. it on paper. And that's Jay. It's too late. Yo, that's re- yo. what you just said was Jay. He don't, yo. He and, that nigga, and that nigga yo, Ray Hike, yo. At a, at, yo, Who? nigga, when Jay we Prince. was, oh. listen, when we was in motherfucking, uh, um, what's the joint in 2000 we was talking about? Impact. Impact. Yeah. Yo, shit was out. Yo, we, talk, we talked about that shit. Yo, man. And all the shit that Suge and all that. We all, yeah, he was like, yo, Suge, fuck yourself. Right. The you was, ever you seen know, Baby Brother had five loud. interviews in a row? No. You Suge. ever seen Baby Brother nope. had okay, five funny. interviews in a nope. fucking room? You not. Nope. Certain niggas He know. understand that shit. Yeah. And Jay that nigga. Jay like, yo, man. Be out there, right. niggas know my motherfucking shit. You know what I mean? They like, yo, man, niggas know what I do. Exactly. The, the niggas that matter know what I fucking do. Yeah. The so trick. So when I make a call, it's not a problem. My aunt. It's like all this rap shit that niggas do. It's like, yo, man, listen, man, this shit is a fucking facade. This shit is WWF. Akon said that shit too. Yo, he said that yo, shit man. you seeing your favorite rapper video in America. Yeah, not just Jay. yeah, you can cut it. They don't not know. just Jay, but Scarface. I mean, me and Scarface had oh, a conversation on that. Nothing. And Scarface the same Nothing. shit, man. Like, yo, man, yo, look, <laughs> don't let this game get fucked. Yeah, man, exactly. I don't know. Hey, we about to wrap this shit up. Everybody, right. thank you for coming right. back. Good night, motherfucker. Be safe. All right. We